because you're going to be cutting it all up. Okay. So our home and family one would also not work as well. But this type that has a border pattern on it, and this one over here, you can see how beautifully these did work. And I, I want to tell you, these are so easy to make. They're about $125 to $200 to buy in the store. We made them for about $20 to $50. All right. Yeah. I love that stuff. I will say, I never have sewed. I'm not a sewer. I guarantee you this I'm is a sewer. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is a first-time sewing project. Okay. If you had a child that was in seventh grade, she could do this. Even really? sixth grade. It would be, it's so easy to do. So let me tell you what you need to get started. You obviously need a throw. We talked about the kind to use and the kind not to use. You need scissors. My crafty quilter's roller, I use it for everything. I love it. There's a lot around here. Yeah. Now, oh. This is a grease pencil. Don't use a marker because uh, the great thing about these are they are machine washable and this will come out in the wash any markings you make. Just a standard, regular 9-inch plate, straight pins, and then a needle and thread. And what I really recommend is an overlock sewing machine. Most sewing machines now do have an overlock mode to it, or you could borrow a friend. So let's go to the uh, VTR and roller tape, and I'll show you how to get started. Okay, you lay your, your blanket out, and to do cut the body of the jacket, we measured up 30 inches from the bottom and cut across the blanket. And you can see we put tape there so that we would always have a straight sewing line, and that's just a nice guideline. Then we folded it over in half. And now we're going to, once we get it all straight and smoothed out, we're going to cut the neck. And we measure two inches from the top to the bottom, and we mark with our grease pencil. We lined up the center of the nine-inch plate on the fold line, starting to cut at the two-inch mark, and we make a quarter circle with our grease pencil and cut it. And that's how simple making that neckline is. Okay, we open our blanket now. Let's see the cut. You open up, you see the neckline is up at the top and the center. Okay, we bring the fringes so that they meet in the middle. So we do one side, and then we do the other, and the fringes are now met in the middle. Oh, there's the body of the jacket. Uh huh. And we measure down 10 inches on each side. 10 inches on each side, and this is for your armhole. This is how you do your armhole. And you cut along the fold. You cut along the fold. And now, from this point, we're going to, once you cut, all the way down the 10 inches, you're going to do it on this side. You then measure up on the same cut line, 2 inches. You measure up 2 inches, and this is to create the shoulder. And over at the other end, you're going to see where the curve of the neck was that we just cut out. You're going to take your ruler, and you're going to match the two points, make a grease pencil line, and you're going to cut across that line. And, and that's from your neckline to the top of the shoulder line. If you have a VCR, I hope you have it set. It'll, it'll make it easier for you. Okay, to cut the collar, we're now going to do the collar. You're going to cut down five inches from the top of the blanket, mark it, and cut it. There you go. And then you fold it over in half. Now you're going to mark ten inches from the fringe side. See where I put my, my ruler? And with a free hand, you're going to do a curved line from that ten-inch spot to the corner. Watch me how how we do the freehand curve line. It's not that important to be too accurate, so don't bother using instruments. Just a freehand curve line and simply cut. Okay? Now that's your collar. Now, for the sleeves, we need a 20-inch piece of your blanket. So I centered it in the diamond. I got rid of the sun. See the sun's on the top and the bottom? I cut those off so that I would have just the diamonds, and I, it's a 20-inch piece of fabric, and I centered the diamonds, I cut it in half, I put the fringes together, the two pieces of fringes together, uh, and then on the fold line, you cut again, see the cut on the fold line? Now you have your two sleeves, that's how you do it. Unbelievable. You really, really made that look easy. You know, we have to go to commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to be showing this. Yeah. See, I, I this is easy to sew it together. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, we're going to okay. Okay. Nice sew it. The shoulders and we pin them together just like that. Really easy. I mean, this is truly is easy. And so we I mean, use an overlock machine once again so that the blanket wouldn't unravel. Okay, then we're going to fold the sleeve after we, you know, cut this and trim it. We're going to fold our sleeves in half, just like you can see, and we're going to sew the fold of the sleeve. Great, I think and that's easy. Okay, then we're going to turn the sleeves inside out. 
as you're watching me now. And then with right sides together, we're going to stick them into the body of the jacket where the holes are. See those, those clean holes you're seeing uh -huh. right now. And we're going to stick them in through the holes, and we're going to pull them through right sides together. And we're going to sew that up. And you go around the circle, obviously, so you can put your arm in there. <laughs> you do such a good job of explaining this, Candace. Oh, really. thank you. I, I, I absolutely understand what you're doing. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, hopefully people set their GCI. Yeah. Now it's so, so the collar on. The key is to pin the center of the collar onto the center of the back of the jacket. That is the key to sewing on your collar so that it's even. As you can see, I'm pinning the collar of the jacket down the front of the jacket. And we're using our straight pins. Once again, just as a safety tip when you're sewing, pull your straight pins out before you actually get to them because they will break and, and there can be some hazards there. So there you go. We've got it all sewed up. And now we're doing the front. And you're going to see on the right when we're pinning down the front shawl part of the collar that there's extra fringe on the right. We're simply going to cut that off. It's not there by mistake, so don't want you to think when you're doing yours that, that you didn't cut it right to begin with. It will be there, and you're going to just trim it right off. Too much fringe can be a, a problem. Yeah. <laughs> this is a truly easy project that you did. Do one little sewing seam, and my tip is to press your collar down, and it'll lay flat just like the one I have on. And it is a wonderful project. It would be a great, inexpensive gift to make, and there you go. Thank you, Candace. Thank you, Sarah, for joining us as well. Oh, Can we say some more? Sure. All right. I don't understand.